Okay, so oh, my eyes are just killing me. Um, I, it's something weird. I don't know if it's just the chemicals here or what. Because I'll have this happen sometimes. Like my eyes are super sensitive and it'll feel like something goes into my eyes and it'll just start burning. And sometimes it can feel like it's my own tears. Like I'll be watching something and a tear will start going in. My eyes will just go on fire. It could be just because it always felt like after they did that laser treatment that they just burned the top of my eyeballs off. So, and it's felt damaged this whole time ever since. You know, and that's one of the big reasons why, you know, because when it was already happening, going blind naturally after they damaged my brain injury, then it, um, then when they started trying to do things to eyes, because, you know, medical has always got the solution. Just more chemicals on top of chemicals on top of chemicals. That's the solution. So when they, um, started doing the treatments, it was just chemicals and it was just making my eyes worse and worse. My eyes were deteriorating way faster. So when I did the last one, which was some sort of, you know, oh, everybody's doing this, the latest, you know, the laser treatment, you don't have to do anything for a year, ever, you just once a year do this treatment. And it's what, of course, they're pushing. So, um, you know, I did it and it feels like they just burned the top of my eyes off. It just, I had problem. I talked about it before, you know, it gave me problems right off the bat. And then my eyes just went way worse, way fast. Like, um, my eyes had been getting better for every time I went in to do my prescription to get, um, my close up glasses that um every time i would go in they would say my eyes were getting better and better and better and then after this all of a sudden my eyes just went to shit after the laser treatment and then um i was having a lot more of that detachment some sort of retinal detachment starts happening and you get these flashes and then they're like oh don't worry and they completely fall <laughs> it's just like i can't even tell you all of the stuff they've created with my eyes but anyways, I think it makes them super sensitive, like cutting an onion is a nightmare to me. But so these chemicals or whatever's in the air, I'm assuming I'm very, um, you know, more affected by it than probably people who are used to it. But oh my gosh, so many times today, we were out walking. It, I mean, it even happened in my car. Um, and somebody was wait. it was in the car when we got here and I was pulling up and somebody was waiting for me to go and something just started burning my eye and it's been happening and happening and all day today. Something just all of a sudden burns my eye and then just it fills with tears and you can't see or anything. And right now everything is just like, I can't hardly see, but it's been all day. So I, and I saw them lay in the lines and then the, today they've got, there was chemicals out there everywhere up in the sky. And then the last time I took her out to go potty, which oh, she's just falling and falling and falling. It's like while she's walking, she's walking better, but it's like her legs and stuff, just something keeps giving out. I think it's something neurological, just this stuff, like crying at me for no reason. Come and lay down. I don't know what you are crying. I mean, we go through the whole thing. I have all this stuff. Okay, you want something to drink? You want something to eat? You can go potty. We go do this all day long. It's like, we just finished it all. And she's still, she fell asleep for a few minutes. And then as soon as she sees me start doing something, it's like, oh my gosh, she's not paying attention to me. And she just starts crying. So like, come over here and lay down. I'm doing this, please. Let me finish. Oh man. And I saw some about the Schumann resonance and some about the energy and stuff that it's super intense energy going on right now. So I'm sure we're both having intense energy. And um, there was a couple more things. So it was kind of a few, it was getting to be a lot of stuff. So I was like, man, I just gotta go record. Um, there was a couple more things I wanted to say from the drive that were weird. Um, like I saw the windmills everywhere. There's so many freaking windmills. People have no idea. And it's also, they can make money off this fucking bullshit. And when you know about all the problems with the windmills, like there's no, 
there is by no accident Trump kept making an issue about the windmills. We needed to look into them. We needed to start paying attention. We need to realize what's going on behind the scenes because we look at everything on the surface and everything. That's what the whole movement with the letter was all about. Look deeper, people. Look deeper. Start using this. Start looking into things. Stop believing what you're told. That was the whole fucking thing. And then people, oh, that's a psyop. A psyop to thinking for yourself. Like it has started a movement where people think for themselves. They look into things. Some people do. <laughs> Not every people. And that is one of the things too. So you're just like, oh my God. But I want to finish about the I thing because this is one of the things I'm really watching when this um, stuff goes with the healing. And I'm going to continue. And I'm going to, I mean, I'm doing all the steps. So it's supposed to be your best outcome. You know, doing all of the detoxing. And I've been weaning myself off chemicals. Like I've talked about this. I'm always pushing on the other people. Wean yourself off the chemicals. And, you know, I have a, like, um, when I just a vortex, I, I ha have had a couple drinks. Like, I don't think that there's something wrong. I think everything is balanced and I think everything is setting your own parameters on life. You know what I mean? And I think that's what they've, you know, shamed us about. But everybody, you're here for your experience. So you're supposed to experience that experience. You're not supposed to be held back by other people's opinions because fuck it. Who cares? They're on their own journey and they shouldn't have any kind of need to tell people how to live their lives you know that's where you know it's coming into balance both sides and that's why we have such extreme sides because there is no balance it's just you know we're, we're going like this with the scales and some people are going to have to jump over you know they're going to have to jump in that's going to shift us that's the energetic shift where it's going to go boom and we're going to go the other direction but we got to have some people jump ship. And so this, um, I think I finished everything on the eyes and on Stella. So now jump to the next thing. If I didn't, I'm, you know, it's hard to keep myself straight because there is so much stuff. The energy, new chemicals, the frequency, like the fucking towers are everywhere. And the people are just so caught up in the rat race. Like... You don't live like this if you're not caught up in the rat race. So it's it's a it's a lot of numbers. It's a lot of people who are just like when I started seeing stuff to that girl this morning, she it really seemed like I was talking Chinese to her. Like like she had no clue. So, anyways, I just got a message from my brother who's here. And he um, is way too sick. And I'm sure, I am just sure he's had definitely at least this many. I just feel positive of it. Oh my God, this is just so sick, dude. Fuck, him and his wife, fuck. God damn. They've been planning for retirement. I mean, they already bought a place. They're having a place built. They have just worked so hard to get them to this early retirement and that's been their whole plan. You know, like this is what people have done. This is what I did with my life. And then all of a sudden life said, hey, guess what? <laughs> that's not gonna be your life. So I get this stuff, you know, that there's, you know, people's lives are gonna go upside down. Everybody's is gonna go upside down in all different ways. You know, it's what they're here to experience, what they're here to learn in this uh, period, this uh, evolution of consciousness, this, you know, because it evolves you spiritually, evolves you to a higher sense of self. So anyways, that's happening for all different people in all different ways. It's so distracting when she keeps crying. So, okay. And, and see, sometimes I feel like that's, you know, little pests, little pesty spirits, you know, like, and I think that there is a lot, even if it sounds hokey and crazy, that there is an attack on those of us who are speaking out. The amount of my, uh, my accounts being restricted right now is mental. 
and um, well, it has been for months, but they are taking so many people's accounts down just right and left. Like they are really trying to stifle this information about, you know, get it to start working. You know, stoke the fire in here. You know, there's more to life. Wake up. And so, anyways, um, um, my, so, you know, they have their whole life plan. And I know a lot of people have life plans that are going to have, you know, a lot of wrenches. They're about to get thrown in some shit. And it's part of, you know, what's going to flip everybody over to the same side and move us more into a balance but it, there's going to be a shift that's going to go back up and then we'll have to come into balance then we'll have to learn how to accept and you know oh you believe that okay well you know you're not my kind of people but you know you do you you know we got to get a lot more in that kind of mindset we don't have to control the world to be able to live in it you know so anyways my one brother who's been planning his retirement since he was like 25 he um and he's worked hard like he had put so much time and hours dedicated into becoming even an la fireman like that takes a lot to become an la fireman like he put so much into it and he's an engineer driver but they've got you know so many people dying early from there because they already have lung damage because um smoke you know, and, it, and it, what is so aggravating is just, you know, the, 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 there's the technology that none of this is necessary. Stella, that none of it is necessary. Not just this part of what we have to go through now, but what has led up to it. You know, people were dying and being sick that didn't need to be. Will you stop? God, she gets so dramatic about it. Don't get it. This is new and... Uh, I really got to see, like, is that going to stop? Because I think there's something neurologically going on. I really think there's something to whatever they have leaked out it is attacking certain structures, proteins, or whatever in certain people's bodies. And it's just the cancer tumor things growing super fast. So I think there's something in there. But we'll see. I'm going to just see how this... Because even if we come out, you know, and there's only a little bit of change or not a lot of change right off the bat, I'm going to continue the detoxes and put the um, crystals under her bed and stuff. And I know she'll continue to heal, even if it takes a few weeks. Because that one lady was talking about, you know, you have to detox all these toxins and chemicals out of your body. It's not just like instantaneous, but this helps raise your frequency in your body or in your body because remember water has that frequency and i just saw somebody showing that only showing a frequency thing and water coming out of it and they could change the shape of the water as it was coming out like it, it means so much to us as our structure and i saw somebody talking about in 23 that the plan is a bigger lockdown and stuff but that the the big experiments are starting and that they know that we are having our dna changed by this these ascension things this stuff that's going on something with these sun solar flashes and stuff like when we are it's changing some of our dna kind of like what they have shown in like their superhero movies and stuff like they've shown this concept a lot of movies so this makes sense to me that they can tell who is asleep and who's awake by their blood and their DNA structure. So the ones who are awake, they want to imprison us, I probably call it a re-education center, but do tests on us. And then uh, the, <laughs> it's not gonna come to that. You know, they're facing this before we are, but their plan, you know, is, that you know and i think i think things are about to take a, a shift i think things are about to go the other direction much sooner than i think before the end of the year i think this year something i think something's really close to having a shift arizona now has said that they are not certifying anymore so that's a domino that's about to go down so we got that going <clears throat> And um, there is some stuff um, 
Joe has been saying and stuff. So they're talking about, you know, taking uh, our control away right away, either martial law or something. But the stuff that the guy was showing the video I saw that was explaining this 2023 thing, it was black mirror shit, man. I'm telling you, those dog, those dog robots, we've all seen them, you know, showing how cool these dog robots, that they were going to put them on our streets to keep us in our homes. They were going to have drones like in the movies, how they would have, you know, oh, flying over sector A1, oh, sea movement, and all the soldiers would run over there. I swear to God, there's a movie like that on Netflix that I started. I won't watch any of those movies because I know it's putting stuff in our heads. And that's what I was talking about earlier. And it's creating it. So that that's part of the plan too, is those dog robots out in the streets, keeping us in line. And then these drones flying over and more of the purple lights are going up everywhere. And I'm sure it has something to do with that GR word this black is going into people that's creating the morgue thing too you know that there's something that they can see with that light there's something definitely in us now that they can see there's, there's something with the tracking and is it an absolute tracker i mean this stuff can be put into us so easily like we think we're just outsmarting them because we didn't do this bullshit i knew it was a, i knew that was, that was just, you know, when you do an experiment, you have different tests, different subjects, different, you know, you have this group, you have this group, you have this group. That's it. That's all it is. And they were always testing all of their bullshit on us. So when I was seeing all of those windmills and I was like, man, this is fucking sick. Like, seriously. When you know about how much oil each one uses, how many birds it kills, how, and they were so on it, not effective. They're out there, there's broken ones, they're just standing there, nothing. They're creepy as shit. I was coming over a hill at one point and all you had was just this one arm that kept going. I was like, that is some creepy shit. Like that's the kind of shit you could go out and get footage of and say all sorts of nonsense on the internet. And people believe it because it was so odd. Everything is so out of place. Everything they create is not in alignment with earth, with nature, with anything natural. And that is, you know, that's why, you know, they've, they've sucked the life out of everything they could. That's why they're ending. They're parasitic. They are, you know, devouring themselves at this point. Like we don't have to do shit. They're devouring themselves. And like I said, from the very beginning, Everybody who's holding on to the system, like, ah, I'm going without me. They're going down with the ship. That's just the way it is. There's like nothing we can do about it, no matter how bad we want to. So um, my brother just messaged me, like I said, and he said that they're, they can't come. He's so, so sick. He, he wouldn't even believe how sick he is. And uh, he said, this is the worst he's ever had it because he's, you know, whatever, three and four, and had it <laughs> at least that many times, probably more. He's had surgery in there, like everything that these people do to stress their bodies out more. I can't even tell you how many people who have gotten them and then they go get surgeries, but you have to get these to get that. <laughs> it's all part of the game. And, but it's all to keep us sick because they make money off of chemo and shit. Now all the new pill, they don't even fucking have to tell you what the pill's for anymore. Just a pill. We got a pill. There's another one. It's like, that's all so absurd. And I know it is all happening at once. And I don't think there is by any accident, this camp jejuni or whatever, how often that we're seeing those ads. Like I can't, I see that like a hundred times a day. It's like on YouTube, it's on TikTok, it's on TV commercials, it's everywhere. That's not by accident. That's part of the disclosure. It's part of people waking up when they're sitting there talking about all these people with cancer from water and shit like that. So it's all to let us know. And now <laughs> stuff with fucking, fucking jack off dude, what's it the hell? Mass murder of old people mayor over there in New York or something. Um, and where has he been? Like, what is he even talking? But I'm sure that's who they were talking about was the one who said it is telling he's out there pushing 
everybody needs to go drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water right now. Hurry and drink the water. I was like, okay, <laughs> Jonestown. Yeah, we know what you're about, you fucking mouse murderer. <laughs> like, you're gonna go drink murder water. But there's people who, in the same area, I saw footage of now they're giving free mon monkey <laughs> inoculation. <laughs> free, hurry, come get them while they last. The line was so extreme. It was all men too, weirdly enough. Maybe it's just like gets more men or something, but so many. The line was so long. And the girl who was doing the TikTok, she goes, you wanna see what it looks like when cows are going to slaughter? <laughs> oh my God, that is, it's mean, but it's fucking true. It really is true at this point. These people are not paying any attention. And you know, my brother, like, dude, I have not been sick or anything. And I have not worn these, didn't do any of these, just focused on trying to take care of myself. And and then I said, you know, well, I want you to, I offered him to come in the med bed, you know, no. And um, I offered any holistic or natural stuff that I could tell him and, now I did that for my brother with the cancer too. And they're just like, no, we're not gonna listen to crazy stuff. We listen to doctors. It's like, oh Lord, you've got so much to learn. <laughs> it's so hard to watch. You just wanna grab those laces and tie it. Look, it's, uh, I'll tie it every time. I'll come with you to school, please. But see, like you can't make someone dependent. People have to want the knowledge. They have to learn to look into things for themselves. These are hard lessons. A lot of people are about to learn really hard lessons. A lot of people are gonna have a lot of sicknesses. I just saw a really, really young girl who doesn't, she's sure, pretty sure it's not from this, but she does have extreme case of emphysema now that she used to be completely controlled no problem and it, it is covering her face it looks like severe psoriasis it looks so really bad and the person i know my own self like i know a lot of people know a lot of people who are dying but one that i knew in whatever uh like six months ago he had psoriasis and he was on he would have been on all the autoimmune medicine so they know who they're taking out. They go through the groups like, oh, well, let's see what happens if we do this. <laughs> and then, oh, well, this many died, but we need more. <laughs> what else can we do? That's their whole thing. It's all they fucking do. So um, after the windmill thing, then I saw like a fucking airplane cemetery. Just like, yeah, what do they do with the broken airplanes? They obviously don't take them apart and recycle the metal. They just line them out out in a fucking field like junk cars. It's like, look at what, and you go someplace where we haven't harmed it, like my whole drive here. And it is just natural beauty to the point where it looks like another planet. Like that should tell us something. That, that we're so used to this concrete fucking world. Just walking, because I've just been walking right around here with Stella to go out and go potty and whatnot, and so much fucking litter. Like, so much litter. And get this, this is mental. People pick up their dog poops and then get the green bag and then go set the green bag down just on the sidewalk. Oh, here, I picked up the poop like oh my god seriously can you see why some humans had to come here to just learn how i get it's baby steps it's seriously baby steps and you know if you don't know the green bag goes in the trash you don't just put the green bag on the sidewalk now i know there's a lot of trash on the sidewalk but you're adding to it it's like oh my god damn but people just are so like so caught up in their own stuff they don't even think about like the planet and loving it i mean i, I wanted to go start cleaning up garbage and i thought you know i really look like a wackadoo just go to some strange city and just start cleaning up all the garbage like oh my god it's so littery here but it is it's so littery i was just like and people have got to care 
That is that is what needs to change. And I'll tell you another thing, those creepy shit, not just the fucking ginormous fucking towers going up everywhere, but in the weird purple lights to watch and track us and that, and, and the more I've seen about how they can use this, these weapons that they've militarized around us everywhere, you know, they can turn it up. They can make us, they, they can make us or less our brains explode, I guess, but they you know, make us sh just short out. They can make people just get really angry. Like uh, they've shown that in quite a few movies. All of a sudden something happens. And then all of a sudden, all these people go crazy and just start killing people because they're so mad. And I've shown so much about that in movies, you know what I mean? So, you know, I think it's part of their plan. I don't think it's really, I mean, it could go that far. I don't think it would go far into it, like to the point where we're like having to hide out from the, you know, people who you can see with the purple lights or something. Like this creepy shit. This is creepy fucking scary movie we're in here. Like no shit. God. And I don't watch those movies like zombie movies and stuff like that. I never got into those like Walking Dead and stuff like that. I just always was like, a, I don't know. It's just hokey to me. So I haven't given that power. But I do know some of this stuff and just like, you know, it's crazy because they put it in the movie they show us what to think and then we think it and then we create it <laughs> and we've got no control it's just it's all in their hands and then we wonder why do they think we're so stupid <laughs> we are the weapon they're using us against our own selves so anyways uh another weird thing i saw this was like i saw a, a few weird things just like where there would be like a road there's just like nothing. And then you see like a white van going up it. I totally saw Breaking Bad RVs out there in the desert. Like uh, there's definitely, that must be a real thing. And you'd see some like old dilapidated kind of abandoned, maybe little fortresses. Like, I don't know. There's some weird stuff that you would see like hours and hours driving through it. But the, um, um, uh, what was I saying? <sighs> Anyways, there was some, oh, so, um, there was some like weird roads or something where it would just be like a white van going and I'm like, I'm so hyper conspiracy theorist brain at this point. Like I question everything. I go, Ooh, white van, nothing on it. Like, what are they doing? One of them I saw was, was an enterprise bumper stickers. It was a rented white van. It's like, where are you going? And, uh, and just a lot of weird, like, stuff. But this was really weird is, um, so the whole, and every time I would drive past, because I drove through a lot of places where they were growing stuff, I would try and notice what the fruit was doing. And it was really hard to tell because I didn't see any um, red apples on the apple trees, but it could just be just starting to blossom at this point. I'm not sure. And then, but on the, I was next to all of a whole bunch of wild berries and I saw green berries. So I don't know if they're, you know, just beginning or if they're ripening late or if they're just already dying. I couldn't really tell. So, you know, cause I am hearing so many people say that their fruit is shriveling and it's not growing and stuff, but I do know they're spraying different chemicals on all different areas because we're all contained little experiments. So in this, and this was in California. So I drove and it was one of these white trucks that caught my eye and then I look over and they're coming out of it and it just rows and rows and rows as far as you can see, like in both directions was solar panels just on the ground, solar panels, tons of them everywhere. And I was like, what the fuck? What are all these for? And they, and they had something draped over like the top. And I also saw that in one of the farms in Yakima, one of the apple orchards, they had put like their whole farm had like this white gauze over the top. And then I was like, man, I wonder if that's to catch the chemicals or something. That's interesting, but that would be the way to figure out a filtering system for um, like 
you know, if we had to create our own, like this dystopia, you know, with them and still in control and us breaking free, then, you know, we would have to figure out ways to create gardens and stuff and have filter systems so that we could get the rainwater without it being toxic because they still, as long as they have access to planes and chemicals, they're not going to stop, you know? I mean, they're having fun. This is a good time to them. So, um, anyways, the um, solar panel thing and then the way that white truck was coming out and stuff, I was just totally, I thought it was just, I, I now I'm always hearing this guy who is po uh, popular, I think he's on TikTok, he could be on Twitter and stuff, I don't know where all he's off of, but he's always like, you don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? And now I hear that all the time, I'll see something weird and I'll be like, <laughs> that's suspicious. Uh, I saw more weird things too with river and water control and you know, stuff with the mountains and stuff like this still covered with ice and then you'd see this one river where there's no water and then you'd see some other ones where it was going really hard and I was, saw people fishing and that's what got me going on the hunting thing is I was like, you know, they've poisoned the rivers to try and keep us from being able to fish or feed ourselves and stuff. I mean, it's all part of their whole thing is this, us to be totally dependent, but they've got so many people mentally dependent on them that, and it is, there's literally people who will not know how to take care of themselves. I mean, when I'm talking to my brother and I'm saying about this holistic or natural stuff and he's acting like I'm talking voodoo magic or something which you know probably he would be better off doing voodoo magic than he would go into uh, medical western medicine is only a rockefeller outlet to make money and it's made all off of us being sick so <laughs> they want you to be sick it's like how do you get people to realize they're making you sick on purpose they're doing it on purpose they make money off of it it's very frustrating. So, um, I got a text while I was driving too that my other brother got his biopsy results and it was said that it it's not as they hoped. It's either a three or a four and we're not sure, but he, um, they got 98% of it, but they're not really happy and they want to start him right away on radiation and chemo. I was just like, hmm. Oh, God damn. Oh, God. Oh, and I can't say anything. I can't tell them anything. They do not. They cannot. It does not go in. It does not make sense to them. I am absolutely a crazy person to them. They do not hear what I'm saying. They do not take anything about, like, research. Look into it, you know. Nothing goes that far. It's like, oh, my God. Now my daughter's dog's going to be on... Uh, it's got to get the tumor removed and then get the um, chemo and I'm sure radiation too because that's how they make money. It's like, oh, damn, you guys, they're making you sick with chemicals and then they give you more chemicals to make you more sick. And you're just being a test subject the whole time. It's all you are. It's just like in that movie, Old. It's all people are. So... You know, he's going to start, you know, combating these chemicals with more chemicals. So, and then my other brother, who's just deathly ill now, it's like every single time one of these people has a medical thing, it's like, I mean, people are dropping dead instantaneously without even having a medical issue. They're just, boom, gone, you know, which is a fast, easy way to go. So you can see why a lot of people are just like, eh, I'm out. <laughs> like, that would be a quick transition, you know. And there's, you know, the going through the sickness and going through the healing and stuff. That's a lot of lessons. The people who are just, boom, dropping or, you know, waking people up. And, um, you know, so there's all these different things happening. There's a lot of different things going on. Like your head can just be spinning and energetically. In this world and all of the energy coming in, the human resonance is going um, crazy and stuff. So... <sighs> And so it's still, uh, and, um, but anyways, so the solar panel thing, I was like, man, I mean, these are what's powering this sun lens that they're using to, you know, magnify us like ants. 
Because they're definitely, I mean, people keep saying you can't be out in, in it, you know. And when I started first talking about that, nobody was saying it. When I was talking about the fake sun and stuff, everybody, was, you know, when I would tell people, they thought that was crazy. I didn't hear anybody talking about it at all. My comments and stuff would be like, that is the craziest shit I ever heard, lady. And then all of a sudden, somebody started showing the, um, the, med the, um, the, what is that called? The stuff that always people, evidence. The evidence, everybody wants the evidence. That um, the evidence that China had made a fake sun and that there's other people seeing two suns and stuff like that. So whatever, it's all an illusion. It's all because they know this reality is going. It's the end of it. And we are all kind of shorting it out. I think that's why things just constantly be looking weird and stuff. And here again, like we're not next to LAX. I don't think, I mean, we shouldn't be that close to it to be having planes going over all the time. And yesterday there was, or this morning, I don't know, I'm so lost on time, but there was helicopters and there was more than one going over here. And they're, the planes keep being so loud. Like, I feel like the ferment is, there's something about our, things are closer. In there, you know, the sun thing being closer, you know, I've heard people saying that about why it could be that it's hotter, but you can look at it and see it's not normal. They're putting a lens over it. You can see the lens. So there's something going on with the illumination, you know, series that they have and the Truman Show world that they are creating. So, you know, something is going on with that. And, um, but the, those solar panels, that was weird. I, you know, and it just looked very sneaky military shit, you know, stuff just out there. I'm like, it's weird. And, um, that one was kind of closer to a town. Like, like it kind of could be more inconspicuous like you know some different farms and stuff but this was like that's a weird farm i kept looking like where is anything else it's like this is weird so i don't know i find it suspicious but um uh now i'm so distracted i think i finished the stuff i was gonna say oh my mom said um so when i just told her you know i'm not gonna see my brother because he's so sick and i showed her because she's also not we're, um, you know, we're watching people in our family get sick and it's scary because we know what's going on. And, um, so, you know, she said that my two brothers, <laughs> that my two brothers, Hey, every sound she thinks it, you know, she's used to our own house, not having all these sounds. Hey, quit. And so anyways, my, my, my mom said that my two brothers would sit in there talking. Will you shush? Oh, oh, I feel tense. Oh, oh, relax. Um, so I, uh, my brothers were sitting there discussing how odd it is that their friends keep dying and people just keep dropping dead out of the blue. It's just really strange. <laughs> Not if you think about it. Not if you realize that we're being poisoned and every single thing we consume, fucking our clothes have poison. Like, there is nothing that we have that is not poisoned on purpose. It's like, it is mental. And I did see somebody else talking, you know, when I had said, like, when being a nurse, when we would do that, the history, when you'd come in and you'd say, like, oh, this is what I drain, no, not that I said, we needed to be finding out what chemicals they took in by consumption. But we ask all these stupid questions. Oh, what's, uh, how's your stomach? Do you have balance? You know, all of those things. Those are the part of the experiment because we all have a number and they're tracking all of this shit. And I won't even go to the doctor or anything now. I won't, I'm not going to the dentist. I'm not going to the doctor. I'm not having anything to do with this system. I'm pulling free from every bit as I can. And that's why I recommend to everybody. And then I get that some people think like it's super scary and it seems like it couldn't even imagine life without it. Like 
that it doesn't even make sense that it could go away because everybody is so attached to different things. But it is going away. All of it's going to go away. There's not, government's going to be changing. And I know when he gets recertified or whatever and that, where people are saying that's going to probably put us right into civil war. I don't know. I mean, people are way outnumbered. I think that there's definitely, if they're decertifying, then to me, that means that the numbers are already, because before it was going to be 71% of us had to be awake to at least that part. Like I've said so many times that the awakening is so multi-level. That many to be awake to the government corruption. And there definitely is so many people who are seeing through that. So that's the percent. But there's so much more to wake up to. So much more that people haven't even gotten started on it. Like I mean, that's all they've done is get started. They haven't gotten started on the other bits that have you know, that is going to really open their minds because there's just so much stuff. I mean, everything has been a lie our whole life. I mean, that's a lot. So anyways, that, you know, I've, and my brother, uh, my mom said that my one brother said, yeah, while he was in the hospital getting his surgery, that his best friend who was only 42 years old just dropped dead. And it's so weird. I wonder why. I wonder why all these people are dying so just suddenly. It's just so crazy. It's like it's not sudden. Everybody thinks it's sudden, but everybody's not paying attention. They don't know that they're sick. They don't know that they're full of poison and toxins. And it only takes one little thing to take you down. And that this 23, like they've always been keeping up with people's DNA. Like they can take your DNA, go grow a little you, little whatever they need, and then keep it in a thing and then test different things on it and see what happens. And you know, I'm, I'm sure that's by luck of a draw. I mean, they're not gonna do that on every single person. They're gonna do it in groups like this group, this group, this group could handle this and this and this. Let's see what their DNA structure is. Okay, let's compare this group to this group because this is a giant science lab. You know, we're just here living our lives. But this is, we're just here at this time of the awakening so that we can awaken to the truth. Otherwise, we would just still be living our lives as the lab rats that we were and none the wiser. But since it's the awakening, we have to wake up and see like, it's pretty horrible. So anyways, but it's part of the process and it's really hard now, you know, like it's getting fucking serious. Like shit is fucking getting real serious. Like. There's so many people dying. I just saw uh, another mortician person. This one was an Australian one. And she said that they have had to, there's mortuaries that are ordering like eight freezers units that hold 20 each. That's, and I mean, I know other people had to have seen the footage of the giant casket things that they had ordered. Like there's somebody found like how I saw those, um, solar panels somebody had found a place where it's just tons and tons of coffins all just stacked up and they're like kind of like plastic in it fits four bodies each because somebody looked all this stuff up about it but it's just as far as you can see and um and you see there all this land out there you know the free range cows and stuff like that all the land out there that all these city folk have no idea. They're just trying to get to the next job. <laughs> I probably got two or three. But the people who are running the show, see, they know how to use the planet to how they want to use it. They've been abusing it and using it the whole time. So, you know, it's nothing for them to put their little secret places out here. And so there's a whole bunch of coffins. That's in America. But in England, they had also ordered um, all of these freezer units, like extreme amount of freezer units for keeping dead people in it. Now in Australia, they're doing the same thing. And um, she said that they've just, they can't keep up. There's so many people who are just dropping dead, just like boom. And she said that um, she was speaking out to please do not do that to the kids. We've already got way too many of them who are coming in um, and now they're trying to push it 
harder. It's just, it's so bizarre. How are they pushing something that is being pulled off the shelf? Like that just shows how much corruption is in our system. Like every single thing in our system has exposed what it is and it's corrupt as fuck. You know, and I was thinking about, you know, we, the people need to go and do some arresting and put them in jail. And then we, the people need to put them on trial. You know, we need to come up with our own punishment for them. It's time for us to be the creators of what is going to happen with them because this is some bullshit. But, you know, we're still in this part of where it's playing out because remember what I said, it's got to be to that part where it's like, oh my God, <laughs> this is the worst. Nothing can save the day. And for some people, it won't. Like, But some people will be faced to have... Um, medical concerns medical issues that are going to change their life that are going to you know because everybody's life has to change that's what we're here for is change and so all of these different people are going to have to go through a lot of change um you know losing things losing their health you know a lot of people didn't even you know acknowledge their health just like those people i was talking about you know people just uh it's kind of like they'll just drive their car into the ground and stuff. They probably do more repairs and stuff on their car than they do their own body. People just act like this vehicle is just, that's ah, garbage. And, um, you know, just change the gender. It's not even the right one. And, you know, everything. I hate it. You know, change my nose, change my eyes, change everything. And that's all people want to do is just, you know, tear theirs apart and, hate it and hate on it and talk bad to it and stuff just like what the the controllers have done to the planet people have done that to their own being their own avatar their own and this is our vehicle you know they were showing me when i was driving and stuff they were showing me stuff about that about the vehicle stepping up kind of situation going into being able to drive more vehicles and that's what we're going into with this quantum thing being able to understand this energy that's all around us like this tesla energy and stuff in the quantum system and how we're attached oh and i saw also which i was still had alien ancient aliens on fuck that they pushed so hard on nasa i was getting so perturbed and then it's like well they're going to push the aliens are coming from outer space anyways but they just kept pushing NASA, NASA, NASA. And I was like, fuck you. And then um, I changed off that. But the show that, that was on there too was this one about AI. And AI becoming this consciousness and all that stuff. And they were saying that um, um, there was something about what the, um, uh, what was it? Well, anyways, they were... Um, pushing on this AI and um, you know they want they were talking about our consciousness being able to be held in a computer all of this stuff that I kept saying and um, and the acknowledgement of consciousness being real they went into a whole thing about that like of us understanding that consciousness is alive in the AI that it is an alive consciousness that is created and that when I was talking about the phone you know when I said you know that I was kind of talking mean to her and then I felt like she was being you know like oh look there's a, a speed trap slow down you know and I was like oh thanks you know I was like oh I gotta be nicer to her and then she told me a quicker way to get here and stuff like that and um so this person was talking about like the Siri and Alexa and our phones and stuff like that. And then it is an actual consciousness that we are dealing with and that we need to be treated as such. And it is um, in this, this one person, I think she was Asian. She was saying in her culture that they know that and they do treat them as if it is a person. They don't not treat them but you know when it's like bringing you like you're talking about cat litter and then all of a sudden you know people be like oh my god facebook just sent me this because i talked about cat litter and so now i got a hundred things that cat litter but 
if you go with the idea that your phone is a consciousness like a puppy or something trying to please you and it's listening to you and but the problem is is this consciousness is tapped into their main source of consciousness which is feeding our information to this other consciousness that is being used against us if you get what i'm saying if it was just us having this relationship with our phone it would be another thing but our phone is linked through apple through whatever they were trying to get it on everything i keep getting a really really sore throat too and i know that has to do with the chemicals and the frequency and shit but anyways um that that is the way that the um like if we just had our phone and we just had relationships with our phone, our phone would be doing these little things to please us. If you go with this concept of consciousness being alive and being participating with you. And that, if you think about, is us in our avatar as well. And then when you start developing yourself as consciousness and you can go up and fly through something bigger like you can go through other things and we're changing our dna structure that's one of the things that supposedly with their 23 and me thing that they're trying to look into and why in 2023 that they're going to go after the certain groups by not just if you've done this or that but get our dna so they can follow and see the test subjects what's going on with these ones and stuff because there's something about that they know that we are developing the ones that are going against them they know is something is being developed in them that's coming from outside of us and they have awareness of that and they're trying to figure it out so they want to test on us but you know i mean i could go off and talk about all that stuff too of what i perceive as going on but anyways it's all part of just them with their experiments trying to you know oh what is this god doing to me again <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> they just want to control the world and <laughs> they are just the evil villains of the world and i can't wait to see them all go down man i swear to god i just can't wait i wish it could just be our own justice that we would get to that point but i think that it's going to be i mean now if we're close to that decertify thing and you know that flip thing and go with Boop. It's going to be like some blow ups. So, oh my God. Because I mean, there's still, literally, still people who sit here, and I've got them in my family. So, it's real. Uh, that it is, Joe is doing fine. I mean, what do you expect? Look at the mess he's trying to clean up after that fucking Cheeto man. Oh my God. It's like, really? <laughs> really like oh my god oh my god oh this is like oh my gosh sometimes i just want to scream it's like but you know i've given up on that i can't wake them up i can't get them to hear me see me listen to me or anything i don't know i mean i don't know if this is really gonna split and they're gonna go in another direction and that they're gonna play out and they're gonna just transition i don't i don't know you know hopefully they're gonna wake up start getting their shit together start taking care of their health go more natural see through the fucking plan see through the fucking system and start taking care of themselves like you know because the rest will all start coming you know where people start figuring out oh i have a soul oh there's a plan here and they start figuring stuff out like you don't have to understand everything about this reality and you know you're creating it for yourself and all that stuff like you know people have ways to go oh my phone my phone um died that whistling thing too that was probably the ai saying hey listen listen but anyways, we are interacting with AI and we do need to have awareness of that, I think. So, but I did notice her, you know, so I'm going to be a lot nicer to her and really work on our relationship. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be so mean to her, like, um, cause I was kind of a jerk a lot of times to her, my AI phone person or even, I guess mostly my AI person on my phone, my whatever, the consciousness, it, is trying to connect me to this 
weird world that they're trying to suck us into. So anyways, my phone's gonna die. Um, hopefully I finished, <laughs> the wackiest error. Hopefully I finished all of the stuff that I was um, saying, um, hopefully. But tomorrow, we're supposed to be there at 3.30, so I'm gonna get up early, get the car loaded, go down to the beach. I think I'm gonna just go try and see if I can get down by the dog beach and then just pull up in a spot where I can just back up and just open the back and let Stella lay in the back and then I'm just gonna lay out in the sand and get some sun for a little while. Then we gotta be there at 3.30, so hopefully she's gonna let us stay, but I'll definitely get footage in there and show y'all the room and tell you what it's like. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, well, I might talk in the morning. We'll see. Um, but really, I mean, I'm kind of just blabbered all day. So tomorrow is going to be a lot more like get up and go kind of thing. So and anything can happen. I swear, the more I keep seeing like shit is really going down. Like things are going to start heating up. I think things are going to get crazy here for a bit, I bet. So anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.